In this video, I'll give you five quick tips to master reminders using Siri on the iPhone or iPad. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Siri has so many uses that can help you get things done. Creating, updating, and sharing reminders is just one of them. This feature can be used to develop and maintain to-do lists, grocery lists, and even your medication list. The hands-free benefit allows you to do this even when you're driving or your hands are full. This is a great function as long as you have Hey Siri enabled. To make sure that you have uh, Siri enabled, you'll want to come into the Settings app, scroll down, until you see Siri and search, tap on that, and then just make sure that the toggle switch is turned on next to listen for Hey Siri. Tip number one, you'll want to activate Siri using the trigger phrase Hey Siri, or you can use the power button on an iPhone or iPad using Face ID, or the home button on an iPad or iPhone using Touch ID. You'll then want to state your phrase that you want to add to the reminders, and it'll go something like this. Hey Siri, remind me to call mom tomorrow at 3 p.m. Siri will show you a preview of your reminder, and if you need to dictate a change, go ahead and tap on change, and Siri will ask you what you want to change. Go ahead and redictate the reminder. If you need to edit the details but don't want to dictate the reminder again, you'll need to enter in to the Reminders app. Let me show you how to do that. Locate and tap on the Reminders app to open it. And then Reminders is the general list where all of your reminders will be added unless you specify a specific list. Tap on Reminders, and then find the uh, reminder that you want to change. So it was Call Mom, and go ahead and tap on that. And when you do, you'll see a little I, an info uh, icon appear. Tap on the info icon, and it'll bring you into the details of the settings. And so here you can change the date, the time, uh, you can add a location, and there are several other things that you can uh, change inside the details area. When you're finished, tap on done. Tip number two, how to create location-based reminders with Siri. Because your iOS device knows where you are, it's easy to set up reminders based on your location. You'll use the same trigger as we did before, Hey Siri, and then add the reminder along with the location where you want to be reminded. Let me show you how that works. Hey Siri, remind me to ask Susan what we need at the grocery store when I get home. If you come back into the Reminders app and you come into the Reminders list, you'll see that I have a reminder and attached to that reminder is the location. And if I click on that, you'll see that I have a list of locations, such as home, or when I'm getting in and out of the car. You can also add custom locations by just tapping on custom, and then you can search for an address, and as long as it's added into the reminders list, you'll be able to use that when you want to add a location-based reminder. So you could add things like your pharmacy address, uh, grocery stores, uh, the dentist, uh, the doctors, any, any place that you uh, would find useful when using the Reminders app. Number three, how do use Siri to remember things from an app? Siri can be used to remind you of almost anything that you're looking at when you invoke Siri. Say, for example, an article on a website. Navigate to the website article you want to remember. Say, hey Siri, remind me about this tomorrow at 10 a.m. 
Siri will add the website to the reminders list with a link back to the website itself. You can see here that there's an icon for Safari in the right hand corner of the reminder. You can either click on that to be taken to the website or you can click on the link in gadget.com and that will take you right back to the article that you saved. Tip number four, how to create reminders in a specific list. Maybe you have multiple lists in the reminders app, such as a packing list, medication list, store list, party list, etc. You can tell Siri to create a to-do item specifically for that list. Just say, hey Siri, and what you want to be reminded about and on which list you want it to go. For example, hey Siri, add hiking boots to the packing list. As you can see, a message pops up on your screen asking if you want to create a packing list. Go ahead and tap on yes. As you can see, the message pops up, the reminder is there, and above the reminder, it says packing. If we come back into the reminders app and we scroll to the bottom, you'll see that we have a new list called packing. If we tap on packing, you'll see that hiking boots have been added to our packing list. Tip number five, how to share a reminders list. Sharing a reminder list is particularly convenient when you want to add, delete, and check off items as completed. All the changes will instantly appear on everyone's device thanks to iCloud syncing. Once you've launched the Reminders app, you'll want to choose the list that you want to share. So in this case, we'll scroll to the very bottom and choose the packing list that we just created. I'll tap on packing, and then in the upper right hand corner, there's a circle with three dots. Go ahead and tap on that, and you'll see an option to share list. Tap share list, and here you'll find the options with how you can share it. So you can share it by mail or messages, and those are probably the two easiest ways to share a list. Below that, you'll see share options. Tap on that and you'll see that there's an option that anyone in the list can share it with others. If you wanna control that option and keep the list to only people that you wanna share it to, then go ahead and toggle that switch off. I'm gonna go ahead and tap back. I'm gonna choose messages. I'm gonna add all of the people that I wanna share the list with, and then I'm gonna hit send. And once they accept the list, they will be added and they will be able to uh, add reminders to that list and check things off as well. Siri can be instrumental when it comes to setting up and sharing reminders. Always make sure you're on the latest version of iOS or iPadOS to ensure everything is working as it should. Siri takes the Reminders app to a whole new level. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.